Well, I apologize for the four-month delay. I have been working on my game for Dreamville Play next year and becoming more comfortable with C++. But I'm back now, and let's get started with multiple connections. So let's create a new project. Oh, it's supposed to already be there. Add this at the end just to separate it from your other projects. Now, I know everyone wants a Windows Forms application, but console is easier to start with. So let's name this multi ton s. And now let's create our listener for our multiple connections. A single connection listener and a multiple connection listener are not that different. Multiple connections just have a loop. That's about it. It's not that difficult to implant. So, same as last time using system.net, using system.net.sockets. And now let's create our socket variable. Oops, wrong place. Socket, S. Now let's create a couple of properties public, bool, listening, get private set, public int port, get private set. Now let's create a constructor public listener int port. You can either do it here or you can um, get the port and start. Up to you. Based on your preference. Port equals port. And s equals new socket. Address family dot inner network socket type dot stream. And you all remember this if you watch the past tutorials. Public void start. Public void stop. Void callback iasync result ar. And now let's go over to start. If listening, then just return. You can throw an error if you want, but we'll just use return for now. S, S dot find new IP endpoint zero and port. S dot listen. 0 s dot begin accept callback no we don't have an object state so just set that to null and of course listening equals true now let's head over to stop if it's not listening return s dot close and s dot dispose S equals new socket address family dot internet work socket type dot stream dot TCP. You can just do this um, either in start and just dispose it here, or you can well, this is just an example of how this works. You can go in mod and do whatever you want afterward. Now this is where everything happens. First, let's just add a try catch. Now, socket s equals this dot s dot end accept async result. So begin basically begin accept spins off a new thread and then just sits there and waits like a normal listener for um like a synchronous listener for the connection and then when it comes through it'll well call the callback and then you call end accept and then that'll get the socket that was accepted. Right our area console. I hate warnings, that's just a thing of mine, so sorry about that delay. Now, let's add just for shortness purposes, public delegate void socket accepted handler. Socket E public event socket accepted event handler I mean socket acceptor handler I'll show an alternative way to do it at, um, in the description 
socket accepted. If socket accepted, not equal to null, and socket accepted, s. And then this dot s dot begin accept callback no. So what this does is like I've explained before, it'll get the socket that was connected. It'll check that the event has been set. If it has, then it'll call it. And then it'll begin accept again, which is the loop I was talking about. Just accept check again, accept, and check again, that's just how it works for multiple connections. And whenever we call close and dispose, it'll call the callback, but this will throw an exception, and it'll write the console, I mean, it'll write the error to the console, and then just let it go. Now that we have our listener, let's go to our main class, and then plant it. Static. Listener. You can either call it listener or you can call it L. We'll just call it L for now. L equals new listener. We'll use port 8. L dot socket accepted plus equals just tab twice. Less typing. S dot start. And console dot read. You can use process dot wait for exit or console dot read. Your preference. Um, wait for X will probably be the best option, but we'll just use this for now. And let's create a list of sockets. Yeah, console dot right line new connection. E dot remote endpoint and date time dot now. So this will write the IP address or the, you know, the endpoint, the IP address, and the current time to the console. And we'll just add the socket to the list. Now this will do nothing without something connecting to it, so let's add a new project. If you're not using Visual Studio, if you're just using Visual C Sharp or something like that, then you will have to open another IDE. If so, just do that. And I'll, let's just create the new project. Multiple connection C. And this will just be simple. It's just going to connect and then disconnect. Just so we can make sure our system is working. I cannot spell tonight. Alright, now let's run our server. Oops, that would have been bad. Sockets equals new list of sockets. Let's open our folder so we can open this multiple times. And as you can see, it is accepting multiple connections. Next tutorial, we will read data from every connection that is accepted.